Hello! So, Crypt, back again. Yeah, okay now. You know, things haven't changed. Uh, we're still stuck. But now, we have a base set up. And a constant supply of cobblestone for us to use. We literally cannot run out. Also, before this breaks or anything... Alright, it's simple. Stick and a cobblestone. That's perfect. Now, last time we basically were able to set up base, we were able to get this here. Uh, something that just changes resolution as it gets bigger. And we keep getting pixel debris from it. Don't know what it does. But now, we have different ways of different thi Oh no! Oh no! Remember, it said that you had to grow it last. The middle one last. I don't know if it will still work if I throw this. I mean, it did It did just throw it there, so... Hey, post-edit here. It had only just occurred to me that the instructions were telling me to put the ingredient in the middle one last. Not that the plants themselves had to have been grown last. Alright. Everything's at work. We're good. Alright, uh, we have seven grass. I think I'll actually save the wheat so we at least we have more water source. Um, since I already have this water here, I'm just going to worry about making two completely different sources of water, and then we'll have infinite water. Uh, but for now, I want I want to actually like leave this as it is. Let me put a spot for the infinite water. So let's do it like right here. All right, so I'm going to pick up this water. Do this. Just to, you know, make that obsidian so it's not a hole in the lava. That's really nice. It's a cobblestone generator, but I don't have to waste durability on pickaxes. That's really nice. Let's see what more we can do. Well, I guess we'll, uh, we'll expand out more. Yeah, I just realized we have a whole lot of bone meal. Like, we got a, a whole bunch of bone meal. Oh, furnace in a volcano. Ah, beet charcoal. Oh, I need beetroot. I never got beetroot so you can't plant beetroot. I guess that does make sense. Furnace in a volcano. Alright, so we have this grass here. Because I have it there, I pretty much can't move it. So let's start. How many do we have? We have seven. Oh, actually, I want to make sure that when I break them, I can move them around. So anytime I cut, so actually this, this is perfect that we raised it above the lava. So anytime I'm going to do something like this, I'm going to extinguish the lava. Then I can do this. Oh. So now when I break it, it'll just land on the obsidian. I will say, uh, even if you make a default world with this mod pack, something like... Uh, it doesn't even have to be this mod pack. Any mod pack or just having a unique cross mod seems really useful. Like, being able to have Cobblonia available to you is so good, because then, like, you don't have to go mining Cobblestone. You can get Cobblestone. Alright, so up here I'm going to do more farming. I have more seeds, but that's fine. I actually want to plant more normie seeds. Ah, and that's why. Because they make beetroot every so often. So I want to have as many possibilities of beetroot. Actually, now that I think about it, I'll even do this. Yeah, and then I'll, I'll actually grab this. Put this here, there, there, and then water. I need three more. I need three more for the basin. Actually, now that I think about it, this drying basin being all the way over here is kind of annoying. So we're going to move it over here onto solid ground over here. Like that. There you go. Yeah, once I can get that infinite water, we'll be all set. So I guess we're just going to sit here and grow crops. I would say normie seeds are really nice for crops. Because it gives you a wide range of things. 
Now, I want to make it where I don't have to walk over all this stuff. Obviously, it doesn't do anything, but we want to make this place look, you know, habitable. Make it look nice. So, I'm going to make it so that anywhere I go, I can at least walk around my stuff and still reach the lava. Basically, I want to have a cooking spot. So, I'm thinking I'll create... Yeah, I'll do this. This will be the cooking basin. This allows it so it doesn't have to hop around. It won't go all over the place. It's perfect. And to make things even better, I will... Well, okay, you don't have to be rude. And to make things even better... Slabs! I'm gonna put them over it like this. So one, it looks nice, but also two, so I don't fall into love. And now, I can throw anything like this and it won't go any further than I can grab it. Let's extend this out more. I'm definitely not going to ever be short on pelts. Uh, we do have to be careful though, because we do still need grass. Oh, speaking of which, I can remove this now. Oh, we have plenty now. Alright, let's move this up here. So, let's make our hay bale. And then I will make a grass block. And this grass block will connect these. Like that. And now that they're connected, this bone meal should extend all the way up there. And this is our... This is our stick production. I'm sure there's gotta be a way to make artificial wood and such. Let's dry out this hay bale. Now we also get stick from that too, but obviously it's not a very uh not a very efficient way of doing it. Alright, we have infinite water now. Now we have a system. Huzzah. You still need one more beaver. There it is. Alright. We can now move forward. See, clearly they're using grass block as a form of reward, so that's nice. Easier sticks. Easier sticks! At this point, if you're having trouble getting sticks, you can make heavy shears. Harvest grass plants with them to craft them into sticks. Uh, well, how do we make heavy shears? Uh, oh, this seems to be the plant tree. Which will lead into this golden rod, which eventually we have to do this anyway. Crushing block. This quest is brought to you by gravity. So we need heavy iron, uh, heavy ingot. Okay, glad I know where to get that. Heavy block, so we're gonna need 12 heavy iron, two cobblestone, and stone. So we're gonna have to cook that. Alright. How do we get this? Smelting. Heavy mix lump. Any of the charcoal version of food, stone, and dirt. Oh, all right. It's a process, but it's a easy. It's an easy and simple process to do. All right, let's check out this colus seed. Colus plants will only grow when at Y103 plus and in range of a light source. Break grass, plants not blocked. You find sugar cane. Okay, so it, I need sugar cane. Sure, that's why sugar, and that's where the pixel of the All right. Well, we have four pixel debris. We have an artesia seed. And we have four sugar. Let's go make that. High on the golden rods. Well, now we have a new plant. So I'm going to ever so slightly grow this out, like, maybe like this way. I think I, I think I like the idea of that. So let's start doing that. Oh, uh, 103. This is going to be like really high up, but that's alright. Right, we're going to do that. We're going to take our excessive amount of cobblestone, and we're going to make a ladder. Because if you notice, coal seeds gives you stone ladders. 
Which apparently there are stone ladders, so we'll have to figure out how to do that. I also need a torch. I'm sure I stick with any of the charcoal stuff, yeah. I got three torches. Amazing. And we need to get golden rods from it, which are I would assume will grow from the bullets. No, I need two string and two blackened bone Like custom bone metal lava. Oh, okay. That's important. I know that's our next step, so we can't do it right now, but... There. We have that all set up. So, we're gonna have to go high. Um, the only problem is, is I don't know... See, like, 32 ain't gonna go high enough, so let's see how we make this. Oh, we need a lot of stone. Well, good thing we have a lot of cobblestone. Uh, let's see, what can we cook? Oh, we have a lot of carrots. We do get a lot of carrots. I think that would be our best group for fuel. Alright, put that in there, and we start making some stone. Because we're going to need stone for other things anyway. In the meantime though, I'm going to start a ladder right here. I'm leaving these open because I do kind of want to put something on the side of them, but for now we just need a way up. And I have a water to fall into. I want to at least harvest the golden rod while I'm up there, but once I do that, I'm just going to jump down, and I'll have to slowly make ladders all my way up. Uh, finally, peace and quiet. I'll probably keep them in like crop piles of four up here, and I know I only have uh, one, but... Oh, because it gets, now that we're away from the lava, there's probably not enough light, which is why they want us to make a torch first. Oh, see, they think of everything. Which is good, that, that's a good quest mod pack. I don't know why I tilled all of those. Oh, you know what? I could have grabbed water. Water could have, like, I could have put water there. Oh! I could do water! Oh, what's directly above here? Uh, I think it's right next to the basin. I think we might do that. Forget a ladder. Why do we need a ladder? Well, we're in 1.12. We would have to swim up slowly. It might be better doing the ladders. I'll leave the water anyway. Because uh, what I'm thinking is to make them grow better. Wow, they grow quick when I'm crouching. You know, for like an easier way down. Instead of just ladder or even falling in water, I'll just ride the water down. I think that just might be better. Yeah, we'll do that. It's very quiet up here. So, this will be our goldenrod farm. Goldenrod. Which I'm assuming needs, yep, goldenrod and magma string. That's probably why we needed the string in the black and bone meal. Because I'm certain... String and black and bone meal. I could just tell that that was going to happen. All right, that's nice. A golden rod will allow us to fish in lava, which will get us stuff. Ooh -hoo -hoo. I'm intrigued. All right, so I'm just going to leave these up here, and we're going to make our way down. All right, let's see how high we can make this. Ooh, I move up them quick. All right, at least that's good. That's as high as I can do it. I, I feel like we should always keep a bucket of water, though. That just seems... Smart. Alright, let's see how our stone is going. Maybe two so far. Golden rod. Ooh, and you get eight each time. Let's go to the quest book, finish it up, get more bone meal. That's nice. Oh, and this... So we fish out blaze rod and magma creep. Ooh, that's nice. I don't have to deal with blazes. I don't have to deal with any of that stuff. By the way, there's a lot of things, but we're going to go chapter by chapter. There's no point jumping ahead. All right. This is really nice, actually. Ooh. All right, let me finish the ladder. Yeah, you go up these quick, so that's really nice. Ah, oh, I see. Speedy ladders. That's the mod.
All right. Another thing I want to do is create a guardrail for this kind of like hub area. Yeah, we'll do that. Some windows. Potato. Mmm. Baked potato. Real good. Alright, let's see what else we have to do. Uh, I th okay, I think we did everything here, now it's just a crushing block. So let's get everything we're gonna need. So, stone, dirt, charcoal. So we have, so far, 20 stone. We need to... <gasps> Wait, oh no. Where's our carrots? Okay, uh, I forgot we... Oh, wait, we might put that away. We still have a bunch of potatoes. And, oh, I didn't realize we actually had 12 potatoes. Okay. Uh, we'll use the charcoal and stuff. Alright. We got our charcoal. Not enough, like not 20, but we got our charcoal. We need our dirt. Ooh, we need our dirt. We're gonna have to utilize dirt. That's, that's a little annoying. Oh, we're, we won't be getting... Oh, heavy shears! Oh, where we need to have the ingots. Alright. Advancements. Oh, that's probably gonna bring us to chapter two. Yeah, because that's the same. We survived by lava, we might as well harness the power, right? Oh, that's cool. Alright, this is gonna get interesting once we get up there. So I guess let's get the blaze rods and magma creep while we're at it. Well, okay then. Hey, I put my grave here. Humanoid flesh. Did I get this after I died? What the? <laughs> uh, 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 I'm a skeleton and I found that disgusting. Holy crap! Oh, uh, 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 jeez. I don't even know how I'm dry heaving. I don't have lungs. I don't have a stomach. But it's also interesting why I need to eat. All right. Ah, oh, I can't see. All right. If that happened. So be it. I'm clearly making something here, so I'm going to keep up with it. Okay, we can see again. All right. Now we are on the quest for blaze rods and magma cream. Oh, interesting. They're, the smart smoke particles are the equivalents of the bubbles of water. Pardon? I got a bonefish. Actually, more specifically, let me go to the chest. We're gonna put some things away. I got a lot. Also, additionally, we need wheat. Like, we need a whole lot of grass blocks. Like, a, a whole bunch of them. So I'm thinking we are going to... Well, first, we're going to need those heavy shears. Apparently, I can grab the grass to do such. I'm thinking... I, I have four right now. We need two ingots. So let's make that right now. And I think it has to be dirt. Though I will keep it like this just in case. Okay, it has to be dirt. Put that one in just in case. Alright, we got a bonefish. Now, also, an important thing is that we have water here. So we have fish. I will say, we don't have to expand with cobblestone, either. R remember, we have water. We can create a giant obsidian platform for all of So, we do have to keep that in mind. Having a obsidian platform would also be pretty good, too. Alright, we have now created some heavy shears. Basically, I'm just going to spend this time harvesting grass, which what it said could be crafted with sticks. Alright, two grass makes a stick. So, with the grass blocks that we have right now, I am going to just harvest a buttload 
of brass. All right, we now have 41 sticks, which is good. Now, since I have thus completed that action, here comes the next important feature, which personally I think would be a lot easier, giving ourselves an city base. We are going to start specific crops. We're going to actually have, like, rows of crops that we're going to grow. Let us make a stone shovel. So we'll leave that there for crafting. But here's where we got to be careful, which I'm going to do by first we do this. Doing that. And then harvesting. We'll keep that there for its own thing. Uh, honestly, I don't care too much about getting a whole bunch of these. So, I'll keep that there for growing. What we do is we very carefully, actually even better, do this, like we would obsidian. There we go. There. Now it's a little more cleaner, a little more opener. We have this little area to actually traverse across. It actually looks better. I can even do this. There, it looks nicer. Now we have 24 dirt at our disposal. Alright, so this is our base. Now we need to set up the crops. Uh, since I have 24, I want to have a variety, so I think we'll split it four rows of six. Because we got normie, wheat, flax. And whatever else I may need to put there. Like that, connect it. And we have our own little farm going on. Now they are moist. Alright, Normie. Wheat. Flax. And until I uh, get other ones that I would put there, I'm just going to put pumpkin here and melon here. I get five bone meal from putting a bone fish in. That's pretty good, as opposed to the three I get from a bone or my own flesh. Now we're always going to need to have this sufficient supply of OW! Combustive? Cool down! Cool car. Oh, it feels my own. Ooh. Well, that tasted nice. Well, okay, you don't have to be rude. Okay, uh, listen, I just want one more blaze bot, that's all. It is uh, apparently night, according to what my map just said. Oh, to what my map says. Oh, I am in hell! I am! Okay, You're like I had a feeling with this, you know, the, the red, that we were in the nether. But at the same time, why are we able to put water down? It's like a weird kind of nether, you know? Okay, enough with the magma cream. I can't do anything with this. Oh yeah, that's right, I can make magma blocks. Fine, alright, let me just finish the magma. Give me some grass blocks. This gives me bone meal. Okay then. Lost to the ages. Ow! Stop doing that! Ooh, I can throw them! Ooh, there might not be enough light. 
forgot about the actual process of lighting it up. Oh yes. There we go. Now we got weed. And a whole collection of things. Now, this is going to be just general storage. I think what we need is the chest specified for only the crops. Anything I, I harvest. And since we have a lot of cobblestone, we might as well actually go excessive and just make a whole bunch of chests. Yeah, we'll put it right here. Alright, this is our crop focus. So, I don't care what goes in here, I just want seeds and crops and everything that I harvest will go in here. Just to keep it more organized and so I can clear my inventory and organize it better. Speaking of which, oh, what else do we got in here? Okay, let's grab this. Throw these in there. String, potato, melon, only seeds. All right, now we got some grass block. Right here in this section here that I'm about to block off is strictly for grass harvest. So what I do is I take my load of wheat. We turn it into as many grass blocks as we can. And we just like that. Now we fill this whole region with it and it's strictly just for sticks through heavy shears. I will say, what makes this grass different from normal grass that I can just use normal shears? Oh, because I don't have iron, obviously. So, this is my best way of making iron anything. Alright. Other than the blaze rods, what's our next objective? Oh, we should we should make the crutching block. Alright. Let's see, I need nine, I need twelve. So, what do I have so far? I have two. Alright, I need ten more, so let's reserve that. Ooh, that's a grass block in there. Interesting. So I got ten there. We'll slowly make the dirt. And we got this. I'm gonna grab two more beets. Alright, we currently have our recipe set up. We just need the dirt, and then we'll have enough. The rest of which... Wait, there's burnt melon, right? What, how did it... There it is. And we get a whole lot of melon, so this is perfect. This is actually really good. This shall be our fuel source. Since we have an absolute exorbitant amount of melons, and melons will give us much more, there is our consistent fuel source. Now what we need to do is get more dirt. So let's just sit around while I fish for blaze rods. We can grow our wheat. I, mean, I just thought, let me cook my food. What? Alright, you can't cook fish. I just need one more blaze rod. It's ridiculous how long it's taking. Got a bunch more wheat. Slowly getting there to have enough dirt. Why can't I get blaze rods? I got it once, and now I can't get any more. <laughs> Hold a blaze rod for luck. That's it. Before I do that, harvest. It seems like one fishing instance will grow everything, so I guess that's pretty efficient, taking the fact that I can't get blaze rods. We can finally do it. Now we can smelt it. While that's smelting, we can continue doing our fishing. I say we have an efficient system going on here. Yes! Finally! Alright. Now we just need this so that they can both combine into the Ulysses. Let's see, we need blaze powder, that's why we need to. Stone dust, which is going to come from the pressure, and artesian seeds. Well, I don't plan on making anything else per se, so let's uh, at least get the recipe going. Oh, I thought this grew. 
Ooh, there might not be enough light anymore. Let's fix that. There, now we're ready. Put that there, and now we have to finish up with all this, which we do. All right, do that, do this, this, cobblestone, cobblestone, stone. And now we have it. That was really satisfying to me. Book of the Well and some bone meal. Let's check out this Book of the Well, because it'll probably tell us how we actually crush things. Welcome to the Hearth Well. The objectives of this mod are that you build the machines you need and hopefully have fun doing them to give purpose to your home space that everything is as simple as possible without complex UIs and numbers, while still having enough diversity to keep you engaged to progress through the mod. Oh, well, I do like that. Introduction. We got a lot of things. We are so close to finishing off this chapter, but there's still so much left to do. And we just happen to be out of time here. I'll still be here, stuck in the uh, this volcano, but... Until then, we've set up a pretty nice place. And so, with the amount of progress that we've done so far, I really enjoy it. I'm going to have to bid you and this vast amount of lava adieu.